research courses called plasma jet and secondary as a water mist. Now, many of you have the catalogs with you on the ultra cut series. technology. Uh, the page number of Thank you. 
Yes, sir. No, there, there's a different models available. A different models available, power source models available, where you can choose 100, which is alternate 100, which has 100 capacity, 100% utilization, where you can run peers from the center of the grid, and then go for your cutting of the 12 mm thickness. And from the edge start also, you can go up to 20 mm thickness. By that, we have for 200, that is 25 mm, 40 mm. And for 300, uh, 300 also, we have 40 mm center peers in cut and edge touch 45 and we also have 400 amps which is at uh, 60 amps, uh, 60 mm and another 100 mm edge touch. You can see those uh, things also in this as well as in the website also where thermal dynamics automations come from. Okay, we'll see, we'll show you the, the live demonstration by the <coughs> Now, what we are going to show for today's high speed oxygen test. 
which is available now in plasma We also have a manual hand system, studying system, where you can uh, use it very budget, reliable, and uh, more focused on your, your precise cutting thickness and uh, very economical power So Jesh can help them out for the requirements. People who can't afford to have a very big system, we can also go with some small systems like this with the small attachments. Our exclusive rugged roll bar for added durability. This 
is normal, these machines, one of the gentlemen who was trying to talk on structural fabrications, there you can really think on these lines. Well, on site, they would like to do the jobs, they can think on these lines. Because the safety is taken as a Number four, true check. The Cut Master True Series Biotech System offers the only 60 amp drag cutting tip on the market today. Which means that you can touch the metal and then cut for the plates. You don't have to maintain a contact for cutting, where you go with an error while cutting. So you can just touch on the particular drawing, whatever marking you are making, and straight away go for cutting. What is the drawing that you are making? Number five. True. Seven B, which is not more than seven. The new multi-voltage cut master truce right, I'll give you that features a flexible and patented one torch. Only one set of consumable parts for the entire range of machines are required. See, many of the power sources you see, uh, they give you, for, say, example, they have 100 amp power source in this conventional range of entry level models for hand cutting systems. They give you for 20 amps, 40 amps, 60 amps, 80 amps, and 100 amps. For each set amperages, they ask you to change four set of consumables. It is electro, nozzle, shield, as well as sometimes a retailing cap, about 60 amps. So this will add an inventory to your cost. And at the same time, you need to change different type of metals, thicknesses to different consumables. Whereas in this consumable. Uh, that's it, you need to uh, 
work with it. So the, then the customer, the OEM builder will give you the table, the controller, and everything. We can give you the dash, digital dash controller as well as the power source in this. The third one. Third one. Third one. We have also got the other one. Only the power source and the dot shell control controller, everything is being supplied by an OEM manufacturer. That's why he can complete the system and he can give you the table to your requirement and to your thickness sizes. But all you need to ask him is that uh, uh, your recommended cutting thickness, what is that you would like to go for it? Because if you add overrated power sources, you will be investing more on the machines where it is not desired to cut. So second thing is, if you are future forecasting that you need to take another 3 to 4 mm on these machines, you can also ask them that yes, this is what I am looking for, then they can recommend you the better machines for it. So you kindly see that when you want to uh, invest on the machine, uh, you also need to see the payback period one, and the second thing on your consumable cost, and also your uh, so-called uh, the training and the preventive maintenance requirements, which will be updated as in time by the OEM people does. These three factors is more important when you go with your fully integrated systems. And please note this, in, uh, these systems which we have in high precision models, uh, it is like this, uh, nobody can match this particular requirement. So all, all you need to do is the thickness of your material and the base material has been given, and the entire configuration from the drive to your output requirement, that is a uh, finished components. This characters, all the programming requirement takes care of by itself automatically because this is all done at home, that is at the factory and sent to you. Whether uh, the, the so called uh, the qualified, uh, highly qualified operators can be thought of. Uh, because this is prone for often usage. Many operators, you know, in India there is a language called machine abuse. They try to fiddle with the controllers and try to bring in uh, so many parameters in one way. And moreover, these controllers are also uh, in, uh, directly intervening to our server also. We can rectify it. But at the same time, this can be avoided. The people cannot design the systems. And the microprocessor, in, it, in each from the smallest machine to the biggest machine, if people try to fiddle with the machine with the wrong parameters for cutting, the machine doesn't work. The machine stops. And if you give the wrong uh, requirement for your thicknesses, which doesn't match to your requirement, doesn't work, which, which means it directly educates the operator this should be the way to go on. This is that series? Uh, we have in Cutmaster A series, Cutmaster A series, and uh, yeah, Cutmaster series, AutoTech series, you are including the AutoTech series, all this has. And also we have another one, hand cutting system, that is Cutmaster 40. Uh, which Mr. Jayesh will give you individually your image. And also, I have around 62 slides, which I was not in a position to present you all 62 because of conditions of time. So, um, Jayesh, you can please turn that off. So, Mr. Fatima, you Also, 
made in India, so you can get all the updations in future. And we have a policy to give one software for all these three technologies. Let us say presently on day one, if you buy one technology and after let us say six months, one year, three years, down the line, you want to buy another technology. Still you will be using the same software, so your operator will be having all the necessary inputs that is Mission system is covered by Yeah, we basically take the source, we integrate it depending on the, if it is a laser, there is slight modification in terms of design of machine. But the rest of the parameters like software remains the same, our role remains the same, wherein integration is there. All this is the same. For yes, yes, for you, one point one it would be me, for company. We will be giving a complete solution for plasma with the CNC, with software, with everything, even the training will be provided in India. Suppose we buy the source, yeah. then uh, you can build the system and the same system? Not uh, ideally, because every source has its own integration criteria. If it is thermodynamics, we know because we have that training, our engineers are trained to integrate it. To understand the signal from the source and to give the reciprocating signal from the CNC. That matching parameters are there, you will have a better output. So, if it is thermodynamics, yes, our engineers can do it. If it is not, then we have to you know, really struggle, and that sometimes will not give you a very good output. And then. Just to give you an example in plasma, the height control is done with the help of arc measurement. So, that arc value is to be then given to the controller. To understand that whether the cutting has cutting head is to be moved down or up. That uh, signal is given from one end and then there will be another signal coming, okay, go up or go down. This end in end integration makes the system work. So then I will move on to uh, the next session, comparative study. The final one, the like one. And see if many of them are trying to talk to me during the lunch over the small system. I will end up with a small video for the lunch. This will be sent to you by email. There's 62 slides. So a lot of explanations are there. If any clarifications are there, please do write to me, uh, Mr. Jayashri, uh, so that we will answer all your technical requirements. Uh, we'll see that it will satisfy your technical requirements. That was why you get one part. We have vendors. We can do a lot of work. Oh, yeah. We have vendors. We don't need to do that. It's double the difference. It means even, even the women can also use these machines. I mean, now in India there is a customary procedure that uh, only the males are used for cutting it. You can also put it in India.
testing software what we are how we are supplying our system it is automated or people are using manual or there are both the options basically it has the automatic uh, nesting but still you have the option to go for manually it has a automatic nesting yeah. okay. The material between two parts is what comes in the feature. So when it comes to water here, that material could be very less. If we see water jet, it has a reach up to 300 mm. These are all maximum values. It doesn't mean that the smallest machine can start up to 300, but application still 300 can be done by water jet. The smallest machine is generally recommended up to 25 mm of stainless steel or any other material. In my steel, in stainless steel, in aluminum, all this around 300. When it comes to plasma, it is uh, 140 or on the uh, 3. This is conventional plasma, which is a uh, cut master series or a cut of cut series, which is a covered green. And the green color is the ultra cut, which is more precise and which gives a uh, good uh, uh, finish on the edge. And laser, as you see, can cut thicker white steel. But uh, for stainless steel and aluminum, it's less. <laughs> Comparing cutting speed, water jet, plasma, and laser have an intersecting areas as many places where the speeds are you know, common. Here, maybe the plasma and water jet speed is common. Here, the laser and water jet speed is pretty common. This is a rough idea wherein we can see the laser is more, uh, we can say, speedier when it comes to lesser thickness. When it comes to medium range, laser is already not there more than one inch. So then only two options with us is the thickness is one inch or higher. And when it comes to, let us say, five inch, almost the speeds will be near the, nearly the same for plasma and water there. But at this point, then the cost comes into picture. If your accuracy is permit, or if let us say you are okay with plasma, then of course water jet will be the costly solution at this point. So it is always uh, uh, we have to consider not just one parameter. But we have to consider three, four parameters at a time. What is your thickness? What is your material? What is your accuracy? What is the after uh, processing, that is secondary processing that you need to do with uh, your product, all these things are going to be taken into picture. This is a, a broader view, it is a graphical view, it is not that this much data prepared, but it is a kind of comparison which is shown that uh, in water jet, heat affected zone is not there because of course it is a cold cutting process. Plasma, it is definitely higher than laser. In laser, it is, let us say, 0.25 inch, 0.025 inch, whereas in here it is 0.1 inch. And the curve also, you can see, laser has the smallest curve. If we compare the curve, just curve is about the upper region, and yes, laser is better. Then on the water bed, and then comes plasma. Thank you.
talking about precision, plasma is uh, on the, you can say,